Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is going to be my first feedback of your first assignment in academic speaking class that's about a huge job. First, I would like to appreciate your effort. I really appreciate you are trying to speak up and then you make a video as well and that's uh, just so well done. But let me give you a feedback. So first, when you present your topic, it's about a future job. Suppose that you are speaking in front of the people. Because when you speak, you do not only speak for you yourself, but you speak for a lot of people. And in academic speaking, as I have already explained the theory beforehand, that in academic speaking, the phrase should be in should be began with the opening, yeah, and then the content and the closing. So please, you go directly into the opening. It is not good if you just go jump to the content without opening. It sounds not good. So first, you should introduce like. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Aini and I'm going to explain to you or I'm going to give my opinion about a future job or I'm going to present the material or the topic related to the future job supported by the data and blah blah blah. So first give your introduction as if you want to or you let other people know that you are going to talk about something so don't go jump into the content you need an introduction first to let everyone know that you are going to speak about the certain topic again my name is blah 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 i would like to tell you or i would like to inform you about the latest case about the future job about the potential of the future job and blah 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 and then after you have a beginning and then you can present your data as a content related to the content regarding to the topic or the specific or the certain topic i have already given about the future job based on blah 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 or according to blah 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 according to the research according to blah 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 so that's uh, about the content and then after you present the data which is valid because it is directly taken from the source please give your opinion give your opinion so that's from the data, in my opinion, I agree with the statement from blah 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 because of blah blah blah. So there should be a content validity, I mean there should be a content first and then you should give your opinion after the content. And the last thing is that it's better for you to give an example. So, so it's not only the theory after you give a data you give your opinion as well you need to relate this to the example in a real life about the future job how is how is the future job right now how is the potentiality of the future job right now in this pandemic era what's what's the worst case happen what the worst case happens or yeah what is the biggest challenge of the society or the people out there uh because we're living in a pandemic era or etc so last you give conclusion you you can say like uh that's all my opinion or my presentation uh no need to give a sorry because like when you say i am sorry if i have a mistake that's a very indonesian culture in the academic speaking you don't need to say sorry because you do not do the mistake so everyone who gives an opinion or everyone who presents the data there's no mistake about presenting the data there's no mistake about saying or providing your opinion so all is well don't say i am sorry because i have a mistake that's a very Indonesian culture. You don't need to say sorry. Everything is okay. You don't make a mistake. So avoid using, I'm sorry if I have a mistake, blah, blah, blah. That's a part of Indonesian culture. You can use it in Bahasa Indonesia or something. And last, uh, I'm going to give you a tips 
Yeah, and so in academic speaking, avoid using the word maybe. Maybe indicates that you are not sure about your opinion, and that's not good in academic speaking. So when you, for example, are not sure about what you are saying, it's better to use the word probably, not maybe. Maybe sounds more informal. Probably sounds formal, but as long as you can, please avoid stating or giving a judgment or giving an opinion that you are not sure. When you give your opinion, you should you should convince other people that you are sure or you 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 believe in your opinion. If you don't, other people will not believe in you. So the worst case, if you For example, want to say that you are not really sure because you are afraid of probably your statement is not true. You can just say probably, not maybe. So avoid using maybe. That's I think about the feedback. Thank you so much for listening. Bye bye.